trying to bring all of the summer vibes to this spring day that decided to snow on us. Today I pulled up at the thrift store and I am headed to a section that you guys would not believe slash if you've been watching the most recent thrift vids you probably have an idea. It's a section that I used to never touch not even with like a 10 foot thrifted pole. Today we are thrifting exclusively in this swim section. I don't know if you guys can tell my inspired outfit today. It's very beachy. It's very exciting. Probably the most exciting giveaway that I've done in these thrift giveaways because it's including a bikini from one of my favorite swimwear brands that I'm so excited to offer to you guys in a custom size. So it's open to everyone, absolutely everyone. My goal here is to just kind of branch out, share with you guys that you don't need to look so literally for everything, if that makes sense. There's gems in every section and clothing can kind of be worn however you want it to be worn. We're about to head in, dive into the section, <laughs> dive into the swim section. I love that pun, it's never gonna get old for me. See y'all in there. might just be something, a little two for one. Okay, so I just found all these stunning sarongs, which can work so well as mini skirts. So don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys how to tie them, how to make them look legit so we don't look like we're wearing a scarf. Anything Victoria's Secret push-up reminds me of my grad trip, unfortunately. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was really hoping we'd find like a cute swim dress cover-up, and this is this is everything. I joked about them in the recent vid, but I really think they're gonna pop off. So I have these, these, which might be a little small, but I'm a Roxy girl, so I gotta give them a go. And part of the reason I'm looking at the board shorts is because I'm a little weird about thrifting bikini bottoms unless they're new with tags still. I know, maybe I'll get over it, but I'm thinking if I find a cute yellow top, it'll go nicely with this as a whole little fit. I'm honestly having such good luck today. I don't really know why. This is cute, but a little bit too um, large for my area. But I'm sure you guys have all seen the millions of ways via TikTok that you can tie string bikinis like this. So definitely worth the investment. They're also so cheap. They're like a dollar. I'm gonna be honest guys, I don't really know what other sections I could look through. We might look through dresses a little bit more in depth, but it is pretty full of stuff. So I don't know what the chances of us finding like a little terry cloth moment would be. Ooh, maybe I'll look in active wear bottoms. That could give us something. These are ten dollars. I can't do that guys. I can't do that back from the thrift store and as you guys know I have been diving in to the swim section recently just because there are so many like micro trends that you can find in the swim section that are also just amazing summer essentials like we've got the mini skirts that come lined which is an extra bonus we've got cute little swim dresses that can double easily as a going out <laughs> to eat brunch lunch dinner whatever the frick you want to do in it little cute summer dress we've also got the strappy top situation which you can easily wear just as a top layered under stuff layered over stuff however you want to do it tankinis tankinis are coming back ladies and gentlemen and they are in the cutest patterns we've got the hibiscus all of that grooviness that's where you are going to find those types of tank tops beach bags sarongs that could be tied into skirts sunglasses swim summer vacation looks are amazing and even though i'm literally not going anywhere i'm going to be wearing these things in my backyard so you guys have seen me haul little bits and pieces in my most recent thrift trips as i've like slowly discovered and become more comfortable with this swim section. So those will be styled up in the looks at the end, but quickly I want to go through the haul and give you guys pricing and a little bit of the thought process and like insight into diving into the swim section. Okay, so before we get into it, I want to announce this week's thrift giveaway. Thank you guys for sticking around for these. They've honestly been so much fun. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because that's where all the rules are outlined. Today, I've actually teamed up with one of my favorite sustainable swimwear Canadian brands, M and May, and they also have incredible yoga pants, but that's besides the point. They sent me this bikini right over here, which I am obsessed with a couple of weeks ago, months ago, I don't know at this point. And I asked them if they wanted to collaborate and give one of you guys a custom Made bikini for the giveaway. They were down, so I'm so excited that we're partnering up on this. So all you guys will need to do is look out for said photo on my Instagram 
like it, comment, a friend, two friends, higher your chances, and you're going to want to be following me, Sarah Dunk, and the MMA Instagram account to be qualified to enter. They have such cute things, and these are going to be the offerings. They can offer you any size that you want, which I think is also incredible, so it's probably the most inclusive giveaway that I've done yet, and I'm so honored that they want to team up with me. Thank you, MMA. You guys are going to be so cute in your swim this summer, and I can't wait for that, so... Let's get into the haul. First up, this is kind of unrelated, but it's like a beachwear baseball cap, which I just thought was super fun and funky because trucker hats are coming back full force for the summer. This one is incredible. I love the pop neon, so just totally screamed. I picked this up in San Antonio on spring break. Another kind of accessory, this thrift store had a ton of sarongs and scarves, and these can literally be tied into scarf tops, which I will show you how to style, and also little cute mini skirts. So I really like the width of this one. I'm hoping it's gonna cover my butt, but if it doesn't, again, we have the top option, and this fun gradient ombre, if you will, pattern is definitely screaming summer to me. $2.99, $2.99. So moving into some of the tankini tops. So I only got two tankini tops here, but these ones are incredible. They're both kind of pink, which obviously everything in this video is kind of pink by, by accident. I definitely love a good blue swim moment too, but how, we just didn't stumble across any of those items today. So we will keep an eye out for future thrift bids. This swim top was really interesting because the back, as you guys can see, oh, I don't know. I think it's one of those do it many ways tops, which is kind of the beauty of swim. Usually they are kind of made to crisscross or latch on or crossover. I don't even, I don't know. Usually they're made to be worn multiple different ways, which is really cool because you definitely get more wear for one item. And I just loved the browns and the pinks here that we're seeing all over spring trends right now. And the fit of that looks like it's going to be really good. Onto that kind of more like summer floral vibe. I picked up this one because again, the brown, the pink, the green, this is so me. And this ties up into a cute little halter, the boot pad situation. I've never seen that before. <laughs> I need to do some thrift surgery on her to just extract those implants that we don't really need, but I literally can't wait to put this on. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So I got two more basic tops. I'm sure you guys have seen all over TikTok the million and one ways you can tie these kind of string bikinis. So I picked up this one in this orangey yellow because I personally really love this color on my skin tone, especially when I have a bit of a tan and we have a vintage swim tag, ladies and gentlemen, which I just think is the most fun. And this one has that little scalloping too, which I think is an extra fun added detail. Oh yeah, and the bonus, obviously, is that you can obviously wear these things out the pool too, so you're definitely getting like a two for one. I do stay away from bottoms just because I do find it unsanitary. I just would rather not unless it's like a dead stock bikini, which you guys can find a ton of on eBay. Even ThreadUp has like a section where you can search new tags, which I think is the safer option because if it's got the lining, you should be good to go. This one again was around like $2. Well, it's definitely mini. It's definitely not like a shirt, but I think I can style this up in a cute way. I mean, we can even wear it as a freaking headband. Oh my gosh, that could honestly work. These are the little board shorts that I got. Hence little. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit into these, but I really want to pair them with that yellow top in some sort of way. And I just love this kind of like little varsity look that they have with the trim going on. And I love a Roxy item. And lastly, for this thrift trip, I came across this swim cover up, which is you can't tell me this doesn't look like all that with jean realization power stuff. It is by HM, but it is their Elio Friorucci collab. And I don't know when this launched. I'll do some research, try and figure it out. But it feels really well made. It's like a terry cloth material. And I've tried this on already. Can confirm the fit is insane. So I will definitely be wearing this as a regular dress this summer. So those are all the pieces. Everything was super affordable. 10 out of 10 recommend looking in the swim section. Those board shorts sometimes get mixed into the short section. As for the little accessories, you guys know accessory sections are a disaster usually at the thrift store. So you really just got to go in with an open mind. And let's get into the look. Yeah. <laughs> 